So guys, this is a quick video going through what we call the pyramid of fitness and how you can improve your fitness and the ways to do it. And what's most important? So when we look at this, we've got a, a pyramid. The wider the base of a pyramid, the easier and the higher you can build it. So when we look at this, you've got nutrition and sleep. That's priority. If you're not fueling yourself correctly, hydrating enough with the, and sleeping enough, the base of that period is going to be, pyramid is going to be smaller and the less you can pile on top of it. So if you're sleeping less than eight hours a night, and obviously we know that when we have busy families, lives and kids, that can be hampered. But what you really want to be focusing on is, am I getting good quality sleep? And the easiest way to realize that is when you wake up, do you feel like you've had enough sleep? If you haven't, maybe look at your routine of sleep. Are you on your phone before you go to bed? Is your room blacked out? Are you highly stimulated before you go to sleep? So watching lots of TV, absorbing lots of content on social media, or are you maybe having a couple of beers before you go to sleep? That's not gonna be great, okay? So focus on good quality sleep and trying to get consistent bedtimes and waking up times, and that's the easiest way for you to track it. If you go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time every day, then you're gonna know, am I tired? Am I not? Is it good, good enough? Nutrition wise, you need to, the easiest way to start this is go by three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Again, try to eat similar portion sizes because then again, when you are feeling fatigued or you're training, it's easy to adjust. If you're putting on more weight, if you're losing weight too fast, it's really easy to adjust. If I'm eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and maybe a snack and with similar portion sizes, then for that, I can adjust very easily. And if you're not sure, keep a log for a couple of days and you'll notice some trends um, when you're doing that. Good quality foods, lots of water, at least two liters of water. I know for some of us, especially in the colder weather, it's very hard to look at eating or drinking enough because you don't really wanna drink a lot of water when it's cold, but at least two liters. And again, you can adjust. Easiest way to look at hydration, the color of your pee. Should be a slight tinge of yellow, not completely clear. If it's completely clear, you probably don't have to drink as much, but if it's really dark yellow, then I would make sure you're drinking a little bit more. Conditioning is the next thing. Conditioning, again, the wider your base of conditioning on top of your nutrition and sleep, the easier the other things are gonna become. If you look at what we do in a CrossFit gym or a functional fitness space, there's always an element of fitness. The more fitness I have aerobically, then I can perform more movements with better technique because I'm less tired. I can also do more volume. So in looks at looking at conditioning, that's low level conditioning. So like the likes of sitting on a bike for 30 to 60 minutes where you can just hold a conversation. That is going to be really key to you being able to do more volume. It allows you to recover quicker. And then when you go into a class, for example, when you have a 15 minute workout, if your base of conditioning is so big, the actual workout is gonna become a lot easier to recover from, and it's probably gonna allow you to hold a slightly higher pace, okay? So if you're really focused on doing the sport, for example, and trying to do all the fancy Gucci movements, and your conditioning base isn't there, you're only gonna be able to go so far with this at the top. Then we have body weight. The more control you have over your body weight, the easier it's gonna be able to hold positions in weightlifting or the sport of CrossFit when you look at the likes of butterfly pull-ups, muscle-ups, toes to bar, snatching, overhead squats. If you have really good control of your body weight, you know where your body is in space. So it's again, much easier for us to look at these higher skill stuff and these more technical stuff to become better at it. Um, so think push-ups, pull-ups, strict toes to bar, sit-ups, all the core exercises, all the basic broken down gymnastic -y style movements, not the sport skill, it's the can I do 20, 30 push-ups really controlled without breaking my form? Can I do five to 10 strict pull-ups? If you're not there, these movements of butterfly pull-ups, lots of kipping toes to bar become much harder. So body weight strength, work on that. Weightlifting comes down to squatting, pressing, deadlifting, snatch, clean and jerk. Again, when you look at weightlifting, you have tiers of that. The better your squat is, the better your deadlift is, the better your press is, the easier it's gonna to be to learn a clean, the easier it's gonna to be to learn a squat or a overhead squat on a snatch. So if we're not putting the work in 
and building the base of the basic weightlifting movements, then the higher skill movements become a lot harder. And that's kind of like a pyramid in itself, which we can look at in a further video. And then once you put all of these things into that, you've got the sport. So if you want to compete in the sport, you have to be checking off these boxes. And as the sport of CrossFit has developed or is just getting better at CrossFit in general, everyone who's, getting, who's doing really well in this is doing all of these first things in isolation on their own. So then they can put them into the sport. Now, the way I would describe the sport is that it's your cross, CrossFit workout. Fran, 21-15-9, pull-ups and thrusters. With the thruster and the pull-up, you're two different complement or sorry, interfering movements. That's the sport. But if I'm really good at conditioning, my sleep and nutrition is good, my body weight movements and my weightlifting movements are good, then I can do well at the sport. So if we look at that, it's kind of like, this is the funnel and the tip of the period, pyramid. And if I get all of the parts into that, then I can do well in the open, for example. So you have to break things down, do them separately. If you just hammer the sport all the time, it's quite hard to get at. If you look at, a, let's say, a football team, Monday to Friday, they are doing drills, doing skills, doing things in isolation, doing fitness outside of that, and then they play the sport on Saturday or Sunday, okay? So in every sport and every training regime, things are broken down into separate parts so that they can perform the sport better. You, playing the sport constantly, playing a football match every week or every day wouldn't get them better. It'll help and you have little elements of that every now and again, but in terms of training, you need to knock off these, and the wider and the better that is, the wider the base is of each of these, the higher that pyramid can go, and then ultimately you're fitter, stronger, and better off.